the Beast. The most dominant competitor in WWE history. The following contest is a tag team Extreme Rules match. Introducing first from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 295 pounds, Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar's been a dominant force his entire career. Brock Lesnar has made a career out of steamrolling whoever has dared get in his way. He truly seems to enjoy combat. Of course, Cole, because it's what Lesnar was built for. The battlefield is his home. Yeah, Brock Lesnar relishes the chance to go out and simply conquer. Because Brock wants to be on the very top of the mountain. And he won't be denied. Weighing in at 251 pounds, the icon, Steve. I can't watch this entrance. I heard this one backstage talking up their own work nonstop. Well, why don't they get in the ring and prove it, huh? Uh, that's what they're doing right now, Corey. Well, good. Let's see what they've got then. A man who always gets a strong reaction from the WWE Universe, and it will only intensify once the bell rings. It's one that the locker room has wanted to see. It's one that the WWE Universe has wanted to see. It's one that I've been waiting to see, and it's about to go down.
So here we go, extreme rules. Basically, anything goes. You can win by pinfall or submission. Every hold, every surface, every object in the arena is all fair game for these combatants. Coming. 
Big punch to the body. Moves outside. What's the plan here? Release back suplex. Ouch. He's burying elbows in the midsection. Looking for something, anything under the ring. He's looking to absolutely destroy his opponent with that chair. Flapjack. Cops landing face first. He has a kendo stick in hand, and this place just turned into South Swanson Street. Some of that fire, or he's in danger of losing his matchup. And these attacks are spelling nothing but trouble. Mm. Taking this moment to tease him with the kendo stick. He just barely dodges. Oh, no, 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 no. And Lock applied tossed without regard. And he's ready to throw out all the decorum in this one. Oh, man, look at this power. in the match would have already ended most superstars. The level of resilience we're seeing is off the charts. Punch straight to the face, staves off the attack. Ooh, he caught him right in the face. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. Oh my goodness, and that was an efficient display of offense with that maneuver. Suplex launched. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Suplex City. Suplex, no! Driven down! He reverses it! Deposited across the barricade! Gentlemen, in the interest of self-preservation, I may have to excuse myself. So after you, hang tight. Let this play out. DDT! Into the barricade! Kane gets that set right back to him. Face has seen better days, I can tell you that. Oh, Kane waylays him. Drops the hammer. Right on the lower back. Uses it. Wait a minute, setting in. Devastating submission coming. Any more hits in that area could leave him dizzy. I have no idea how he hasn't tapped out yet. His partner's got to be thankful for that. What a save. And he slides him back to the mat. He's looking for something. This could get dangerous. He's got that table, and I can only imagine what he's thinking of doing with it. Great awareness. Oh, And here's another quick look at those superstars in action in that tag team battle. Here are your winners, The Undertaker and Kane, the brothers of destruction. It's The Undertaker leading the team to victory. That was a great example of what a tag team can do when it's firing on all cylinders.